Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about two opposing hormones, serotonin and cortisol. Okay, these kind of do the opposites. Cortisol is a stress hormone, we need it to cope with stress, uh, but then serotonin is the anti-stress hormone, it gives you the state of well-being, uh, calmness. Um, so here's, here's uh, some things that can trigger, uh, let's start with cortisol right here. Uh, overtraining when you're exercising, okay? Doing too much and not letting yourself recover will elevate cortisol. Uh, stress in general, mental stress, physical stress, um, worry, um, losses, all this will activate cortisol. Negativity, you know, watching the wrong TV programs, the news, being around people that are negative, um, that can really wear you down and activate cortisol. Stimulants, too much of uh, like coffee or certain appetite suppressors, which are stimulants, uh, diet pills, uh, too much chocolate, that can also stimulate cortisol. Uh, injury actually will increase cortisol. Surgeries, if you ever looked at someone that had a series of surgeries uh, over a period of time, it really wears out the adrenals because when you get surgery, the adrenal glands are still activated. So you're asleep, but the adrenal glands are still going. That's one of the reasons why they have to give you a potassium IV because you dump a lot of potassium uh, because the adrenals get so stressed. So. Uh, Cortisol will elevate after a, a series of surgeries, okay? Uh, sugar will definitely activate cortisol, and then cortisol will activate uh, high levels of sugar and then increase insulin as well, so they both work together. Uh, and then insomnia, so if you're not sleeping, cortisol will start to increase, you'll get hungry, you'll feel stressed out. So that's cortisol, okay? Now how do we increase serotonin? Uh, number one, get quality sleep. Get more sleep. Get sufficient sleep. It's probably one of the biggest things to counter the cortisol is the sleep. That's when you heal. Uh, sun will increase serotonin and vitamin D. Fun, having fun will increase serotonin. Exercise, okay? But you have to make sure you don't overtrain. So it has to have enough recovery. It has to be uh, enough, but not too much for your fitness level, okay? Music. So you can exercise, have fun in the sun. You can listen to music, exercise, and having fun, right? So they all can tend to fit together, but listening to music can increase serotonin. Laughter, laugh while you're listening to music and while you're exercising, how about that? Just combine these all together. Uh, B vitamins, uh, especially uh, niacin, which actually turns into tryptophan, which tryptophan itself is a protein, must be taken on an empty stomach, will actually increase your serotonin as well. 90% um, of all your serotonin works within your digestive system to help the peristalsis or the pumping action uh, and make mucus. So if there's digestive problems, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, any type of constipation, that can greatly inhibit how you feel because of this hormone serotonin is in altered. So really the intermittent fasting is really good to increase serotonin because you're not eating, you're giving your digestive system a chance to reset, okay? And then you're cutting out sugar. So the combination of a lot of videos that I've done in the past, stress, uh, anti-stress techniques, really will help you understand uh, what to do to actually counter this. But I would say the big ones are to get more sleep, do the right amount of exercise without overtraining, uh, change your environment so get rid of all the negativity as much as you can. Uh, do acupressure on the old injuries and change the diet so you don't have too much sugar and you'll be able to shift more to serotonin and less cortisol. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press this little button down below, okay? Thanks.